Hello everybody, let's play some spin tires. Let's do uh, let's do hardcore. Let's do the river. Make sure it's on single player, hardcore, start the game. I want to do hardcore. I've already done it on uh, casual mode. I want to get the uh, achievement, steam achievement, for doing it on veteran. So let me do the chain wheels on my B130. And head off. Let's look at the map real quick. I believe I'm going to do this video in parts. Um, all right, we've got two cloaks over to our right, to the east, and uh, the rest of them are over towards the north. So. We'll go get the ones at the east first. Oh, we've got two objectives. Two lumbers. And we're off. Um, if you play in veteran, you'll notice that uh, let me get out of this bad spot real quick. You'll notice that your uh, gears work differently. Um, if you have it in automatic, you do not have the option to engage your uh, differential. You have to uh, either be in uh, plus one or first. Free differential to work. I will see how far we can get in automatic mode. Ah, we'll have to switch it. Keep it going, buddy. Keep it getting it. There you go. Don't worry about the rock. You can do it. She's not a six wheel year old, but uh, she'll get there. She'll do the job. I believe I'm going to do this uh, video in parts. Uh, we'll do the uncloaking in the first part, and then the uh, second part we may do uh, um, getting all of the garages opened up. And uh, then the last part we may be doing the objectives, or maybe one objective at a time. All right. In a little tough spot here, so I am going to see if I can winch my way up a little bit. A little bit of help. I could have swore when I played this in uh Casual mode, she went straight on up the hill fairly quickly. But I can't do a whole lot of sitting in one spot and spinning because fuel um, gets used up a whole, a whole lot quicker. I can't afford to get out here and Get stuck with no fuel. Put it in reverse. All right. Let's see if we get it back on track here. 
<laughs> Come on, here we go. On a roll. Keep it going, keep it going, don't stop, don't stop. Oh, I'm within range of a tree now, good. You get nervous when you get out and away from the trees and then water or mud and you sit there and have to play with it for several minutes in one spot to get it free. It is a challenge in some, at some points. Especially if you've ridden over the same area um, two or three times, it can really get soupy. Ah, nice, flat, easy, easy driving right here. Uh, in hardcore mode, you'll notice that. Uh, you're a little, you have to look and actually read your map and see where you need to go from time to time because your uh, little um, red line that works, your waypoints that work on uh, the casual mode don't work on uh, hardcore mode. As you can see, there's no red line to show you the way. So you end up checking your map a whole lot more. Ooh, big rock. Don't want to get hung up on the big rock. Keep going, keep going. Get out of this soft stuff. There we go. Ah, uh, work with me. All right. Throw in reverse. <laughs> How have I gotten sideways and stuck in the main road? Alright, let's see if I'm close enough to that tree. I don't want to waste too much gas. Try to avoid getting caught crossways in the big ruts. <laughs> And I came up here so I could be near the trees in case I needed to winch. Normally I try to avoid the big rocks, but... I also don't want to get stuck in the pit down there. Away from anything where I have to use more gas. Get off that rock. There we go. Get out of the way there, buddy.
Okay. All right, there's nothing in front of me to hang on to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my back and hook to the tree. Maybe that give me give me just enough to get free of what I'm in here. And it did. It looks like some good ground up ahead of me. She doesn't, ah, oh, that big boulder was giving me a fit. Well, let's check the map and see where we are. Ah, oh, straight in front of us. Try to find a good clearing somewhere up through here. Could probably made it through there. This part we're just fine. Stat of the rocks. Find me a way through. Yeah, I need to turn to my right. Oh, it's like a little clearing down here. Yes. It's a path. Yep, there she is. First cloak is getting ready to be conquered. Voila, first cloak's gone. Let's look at the map and see where we are. We have, ah, oh, there's a vehicle and a cloak. Up to my left. Come on, buddy. Get on up a hill. Come on. Come on. Take hold. Take hold. You can do better than that. Come on. All right. Winch time. I said a lot of times I was up there and play with stuff like that, but uh, I got to watch my gas. Up and to my right. Which way do I want to go? There's a lot of boulders through there. Maybe a clearing. I see some boulders through there too. Goodness. We'll see what it looks like. Oh, a lot of rocks. I want to avoid them rocks. If there's a tree, I'm going to find it and hit it. Oh, come on. Back winch. There we go. Made it through. 
Check the map. Might need to go up to my left just a little bit. And I think I'm just going to follow this around. Give my wheels a bath. There the cloak. I believe there's a garage up here, if I remember correctly. They don't need to be unlocked. She went pretty deep. Alright, let's check the map. Yep, there's the garage. We'll go ahead and grab this uh, C6522, I believe it's a fuel truck, and um, get it back down to uh, the other garage. Or oh, how I know this is uh, hardcore, so I can't teleport myself. So, that fuel truck, if it has gas in it, will probably end up at this objective for a refuel just in case. I believe uh, that was all of the cloaks actually on this side of the river also. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Should have went the other way. But she is, she's making it and there's plenty of trees so. See if we can plow through here. <laughs> yes. And there's the garage, and let's go over to the truck. All right, what am I stuck on? A big old rock. Oh, that tree hasn't broken yet. Holding me up off the ground. Look at this little fuel truck up here. It's six-wheel drive. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to unlock that truck and tow this one back with me. To the point I need to be.
worker up here switch it to auto and excel okay should, should be good to go and if things get uh, a little tough going I just hit the uh, F key on the keyboard to uh, implement the Excel on the uh, little blue truck. It should help me along. Of course, the blue truck is stuck on something, I believe. It is. Alright, so what we gotta do here. And then I put it on auto. Yep, it's on auto. Wait a minute. Huh. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, I reckon I, I may have left that truck in reverse. I did. Look at that. Um note to self check your gearing before you change trucks now we gotta hook her back up auto and excel and there she comes where do I want this truck to be probably somewhere right in around in here or maybe over in there's a fuel depot over here somewhere that I remember or maybe somewhere over in here let's go for that When I get this truck to that point and drop it off, I believe I'm going to end this part to keep my videos uh, short enough to where I'm not having to download for hours at a time or upload hours at a time. I believe I'm going to end this first part, being that this side of the river is uncloaked and this vehicle will be positioned. Let's check the uh, fuel in it. Oh, there's no fuel. There's no tank on it. I have to take this all the way back to the garage. Yep, I have to take it all the way back to the garage. Yep, I believe that's what I'll do. I'll get this back to the garage, and I will put uh, a garage trailer on it. So I can unlock one of the uh, garages across the uh, river. This map across the river is a little easier to... Uh, drive and uh, mess around on because it has a, a paved road that goes all the way around it. Where this side is all dirt. See what's that little uh, blue truck behind me. Oh, I'm actually getting ahead of myself now. 
uh, when I get stuck in the orange one. The blue one comes up and pushes me and gets me straightened out. She must be stuck on something on that boulder. Well, somehow, somehow or another, keeping me from staying straight. But we're back on track now. Check the map. That's the objective. I'm actually going to turn into the objective and go down the way I came. It'll be the fastest way. That'll be through here. Get her blue truck. Help her out. And I may uh, end up putting a uh, cistern trailer on the back of this. And hauling it back over. Uh, just depends on the method I've decided to deliver my logs over here. Uh, there's a big boy, a big eight-wheeler on this map. That'll help out with uh, speed. And I may tow a long trailer, a lot uh, long logs, and use the big eight wheeler to uh, deliver those. And if uh, it's one of the eight wheelers that you can't put a uh, long trailer on, I'll just do the same thing I'm doing here. I'll find a truck with a long trailer, and I'll use the eight wheeler to pull it. But the towing option is pretty nice. Having the uh, auto for the uh, steering of your front wheels and the Excel is, comes in very handy. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, everything is going smooth. Take the map so far away. Oh, I'm here. I need to turn. I was getting ready to pass it up. Get up. Get up through there. Well, I believe that went smoothly. I've been uh, hoping my buddy would get on, play uh, sometime, uh, Recon. Uh, we started playing this game together. Um, he's taking a little break from it right now. But maybe he'll get back on and play with me sometime soon. Um, he also has a YouTube channel. He does uh, motor vlogging. 
uh, on a dirt bike. And, uh, pretty interesting to watch. Uh, if you're interested, you can check him out on uh, YouTube also under the name of uh, Rubber Side Down, uh, no spaces. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to end this uh, part here, and then uh, I'll continue on in the next part from right here. See you in a little while.